Hello students, um, what we're going to do in this video is just do a quick review of the index laws and then in a second video um, we'll try some of the harder questions where you have to use two or more index laws to answer the question. Okay, first question is 3 to the power of 5 multiplied by 3 to the power of 6. And the index law for multiplying powers with the same base is to add the indices. That becomes 3 to the power of 11. So we don't multiply, we add. The index law for dividing powers with the same base is to subtract indices. Now this number doesn't appear to have an index on it, but it's a 1. Any number without a power is really to the power of 1. So we have 5 to the power of 8 subtract, oops, my mistake, 5 to the power of 8 subtract 1 equals 5 to the power of 7. So to divide powers with the same base, we subtract indices. Now this fraction down here is just another way of showing division. So 4 to the power of 6 divided by 4 to the power of 2. So the same rule as in this question, that's 4 to the power of 6 subtract 2, that's 4 to the power of 4. So again, what we're doing here, we're dividing powers with the same base, so we subtract the indices. Okay, what I'd like you to do on the next page is to try these three on your own. Once you're finished, um, so stop the video. Once you're finished, turn the video back on again or restart the video and check your answers. Okay, away you go. Okay, let's see how you went. Hopefully you did go away and uh, try them. That's how you learn mathematics, of course, is by doing it, not by watching somebody else do it. To multiply powers with the same base, add the indices. So that's 2 to the 6 plus 4, which is 2 to the power of 10. To divide powers with the same base, both have a base of 9. We subtract indices. So 9 to the 10 subtract 5, or 9 to the power of 5. And similarly, another way of showing divide is um, as a fraction, this number 3 has a power of 1, so I'll write that in. And that's 3 to the power of 6 take 1, which is 3 to the power of 5. Okay, let's go on to the next index laws. Okay, this one here, index law number 3, I've got a power, 3 to the power of 4, all raised to the power of 3. And the index law for that is to multiply powers. So that's 4 times 3 equals 3 to the power of 12. So to raise a power to a power, multiply. The next index law you learned is when you got 3 times 4 in brackets, all to the power of 5. Now, when you're doing the index laws, we're not going to actually multiply those. We're going to just keep them as they are. And the index law says 3 by 4 all to the power of 5 is 3 to the power of 5 times 4 to the power of 5. And we just leave our answer in index form. Similarly, if we've got 5 over 8 all to the power of 3, that can be written without brackets as 5 to the power of 3 over 8 to the power of 3. So in other words, the power goes on both the 5 and the 8. And in this question, the 5 goes on both the 3 and the 4. And the last of the index laws, anything, anything raised to the 0 power is 1, no matter how complicated. OK. We'll go on to the next page, and I'd like you to try these four questions on your own, so stop the video, have a go, and then restart the video and check your answers. 
Okay, let's see how you went. Here we're raising a power to a power. The index law for raising a power to a power is to multiply powers. So we're going to multiply the 3 times the 2 to get 6. If we've got a product, 18 times 21 raised to a power, we can write that without brackets by just putting the power around the 18 times and 21 raised to the same power. The third question, we've got all of 4 divides 7 to the power of 6. We can write that without brackets by putting 4 to the power of 6 over 7 to the power of 6. And the last one, it looks a bit complicated, but anything, no matter how complicated, as long as it's a number, raised to the power of 0 is 1. And you might recall the only exception to that is 0 to the 0 is no answer. If you type 0 to the 0 on your calculator, um, it gives you math error. Okay, we'll stop this video now, and then the next video we'll look at doing some more complicated questions that uses uh, two or more of these uh, index laws.